While it lost decades ago finally returned to Soldier's family in New Hampshire, I immediately saw my dad's driver's license and my mother's photo, Concord, New Hampshire. AP, Sharon Moore had heard the stories about her father getting his duffel bag stolen on his way back from the Korean War. The New Hampshire woman never expected to see any of the contents. In July, Moore received a Facebook friend request from a stranger in France. She deleted it. But, the person responded with a Facebook message asking for help in finding the owner of a lost wallet. Attached were several black and white pictures, including one of her mother as a young woman, and another of her aunt, as well as a tattered social security card and Massachusetts driver's license. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teeds Advertisement I immediately saw my dad's driver's license in my mother's photo. I knew it was my dad's wallet, Moore said of her father, Robert McCusker, who died a day before her 20th birthday in 1983. I couldn't believe it. Really, my dad's wallet after all these years? It was just weird. The brown leather wallet was found in the basement of a building in Châtellerault, France, a small city about 185 miles 300 kilometers southwest of Paris. Workers had tossed it out but the building's owner, Patrick Cobbett, he noticed it on a pile of gravel and was drawn to the half-dozen photographs and what looked like official documents. On closer inspection, he saw a field ration permit dated September 1950 belonging to Corporal Robert S. McCusker, as well as McCusker's social security card and other military documents. It was unclear how the wallet ended up in the building, although Moore said Cobbett had heard that the building once was a social club for American officers and that officers might also have stayed there. The photographs made it very sentimental and personal, and really gave me the desire to find the family they belong to, said Cobbett, who works in communications for the French military. Advertisement My grandfather and father were also in the war, he said, adding that his grandfather had been injured by a shell in World War II and his father suffered serious burns in the Algerian War. I would have loved it if someone had found papers or other things belonging to them and sent them to me. Cobbett, who was interviewed in French, found a friend who spoke English and together they found an obituary for Moore's mother, Jean McKenney McCusker, who died in 2014. They went in search of his surviving relatives listed in the obituary, first posting the wallet's contents on Cobbett's Facebook page. That prompted some replies from friends, including one who surmised that the wallet's owner was possibly a soldier who fell in love with a French woman. They tried contacting the Pentagon and the U.S. Embassy in Paris, but got nowhere. Then, Cobbett sought the help of a French military office in Paris, which tracked down the names of McCusker's children in just days. Cobbett found more on Facebook last month and shortly after the wallet was headed to Dover, New Hampshire. She was so happy to know there was this trace of her father, Cobbett said. She was almost ready to come to France with her brother to get the wallet. But I told her I could send it. I was so afraid it would get lost in the mail. But it arrived in less than a week. I was so happy, advertisement when the package arrived, Moore and her brother, Stephen McCusker, filmed themselves opening the wallet and emailed the video to Cobbett, so he could share in their joy. For Moore and her relatives, the wallet represents another part of a father who rarely talked about his time at war. He also fought in World War II, forging a birth certificate at the age of 15 and running off to the Merchant Marine. He then re-enlisted for the Korean conflict and received a Purple Heart after he was injured in a grenade attack. Moore gave the wallet to her brother, Stephen, who also lives in Dover, because she already has her father's purple heart, his dog tags and the flag from his coffin on display in her home. The family also sent Cobbett a gift basket featuring maple syrup from her backyard, some of the candy her father enjoyed and a New England Patriots jersey. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. 
to hold something he held every day, there are just no words, Moore said, adding that her father would have been floored by the whole story and just thankful and grateful, especially because it was a soldier that helped get it back to us, underscore 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 Gecker contributed reporting from San Francisco. By Tabula by Tabula sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links you may like these Straits Times Mathether responds to financiers accusations these Straits Times under Vikings free online game play this for one minute and see why everyone is addicted Vikings free online game under Hitachi can your plant production see for itself. Hit a Chiundo hip van we bet you can't spend more than $10,000 on furnishing your home hip van and oh enjoy compare this is the last VPN you are going to need, and it's on sale. Enjoy compare on the Stamford American International School how overseas school trips benefit your child Stamford American International School Undo.